Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are having a good day. This video is going to be about a fragrance from Mason Alhambra that really impressed me a lot and quickly is turning into one of my most favorite Mason Alhambra fragrances. It's spicy, it's dark, it's woody, it's masculine, it's sexy and has a pretty much of a niche type of scent. The fragrance is called Crafted Wood and in this video today I'm going to tell you why I like it so much. A quick look at the packaging, the presentation and the bottle design of a Zafiro's collection Crafted Wood. The fragrance comes really really nicely packaged. Uh, initially you get this uh, dark blue colored uh, box with uh, golden accents. On the front you got the name of the fragrance, uh, the name of the company Mason Alhambra. On one of the sides you get the uh, bottle size 100 milliliters, the concentration EDP. On the back some additional information along with a sticker of authenticity. And on the bottom there's a production date which in this case is uh, February of 2023. In order to get to the secondary bottle you need to slide this part out. Again inside you get this thing. Uh, on the back there's uh, actually the front there's again Mason Alhambra logo and you open, a bit, uh, open it up like a book. Again on the inside uh, you got uh, some more branding and the bottle sits inside uh, in this uh, nice uh, sort of a bed thingy. Oh you know the packaging uh, is really really nice uh, and then this is how the bottle looks uh, now this thing is a clone apparently of curved wood by Tamim which looks very similar to this one you get this dark colored, dark blue colored bottle that has really nice heft to it uh, the cap is made out of uh, wood it's a snug fit although uh, I'm not recommending you to pick up the bottle through the cup because it's quite heavy and all you know you know this gets a 10 out of 10 when it comes to the presentation. If you enjoy my videos but for some reason you're not yet a subscriber to my channel please consider hitting the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me it actually keeps me going uh, you know creating more useful content for you guys and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay now let's talk about the not breakdown of this fragrance now there are a few widely different uh, note breakdowns of this one but I'm going to quote the one that sounds the most realistic uh, at least to my notes from what I'm picking up from this fragrance the base notes are uh, the top notes are cardamom pink pepper cypress and cypress oil the middle notes are cedar wood uh, patchouli iris and oud and the base notes are vetiver amber musk labdanum sandalwood and vanilla I'll show you the sprayer in action and then I'll tell you about the scent of this fragrance. This is how the sprayer works and it's actually a very decent sprayer, it feels kind of pressurized. And now onto the, note, the, the actual scent of uh, Zafiro's collection Crafted Oud. Now the opening of this fragrance, the first uh, like a minute or two are very spicy and uh, that cardamom note is uh, probably what's uh, the most noticeable, at least to my nose. Uh, it's a very nice high quality cardamom note uh, that feels uh, very sexy. I'm a big fan of uh, you know the cardamom when it comes to men's fragrances. There's also some, of, uh, some greenness uh, probably down to that uh, cypress note. Uh, I pick up a touch of spiciness as well from maybe that pink pepper or maybe a black pepper or some kind of a peppery note uh, in the background and uh, the oud note is uh, right there from a get go as soon as you spray this fragrance. The opening is very spicy, feels kind of green, uh, a little bit sharp with uh, some ouds and uh, pretty much no sweetness in the opening of this fragrance. Now when this starts to uh, dry down, uh, you know, that uh, spiciness from the opening starts to go away bit by bit until it almost completely goes away. Um, you know, I start to pick up some of that iris which tries to balance out, you know, the spiciness and the woodiness uh, and makes uh, the whole scent profile a little bit warmer, a little bit more rounded, uh, a little bit softer. And then when you get to the actual deep dry down of this fragrance, that's when you start start to find uh, some of the sweetness. You get I get the amber, which gives a really nice uh, warmth to uh, this uh, scent. Uh, I pick up a touch of the vanilla. You know the dry down is not uh, very sweet. Uh, it's a nice mix of that uh, you know wood note, the cedar, you know the, that woody notes as well and uh, some of the sweetness from the amber and the vanilla. Oh, you know, this is a fantastic uh, scent, uh, you know, has niche quality, niche type of, uh, 
pretty much a niche type of scent uh, that feels very dark it's very spicy but at the same time very masculine and very very sexy oh you know i really really enjoy the scent of uh, crafted wood oh. talking about performance uh, crafted wood has been a very very good performer at least on my skin I've been getting somewhere around about the eight to nine hours, uh, you know, reaching the eight to nine hour mark uh, when it comes to longevity on my skin. So performance wise, it's very decent. Uh, one thing it lacks, it's the loudness. Now this thing projects uh, moderately for about two to even upwards to two and a half hours, but it's not a very loud fragrance. It, it won't create a big uh, scent bubble around you. It's more of a personal, more of an intimate type of scent, uh, but the total longevity on skin has been uh, very, very nice. When it comes to the price tag, uh, this is uh, a little bit more on the pricey side when it comes to uh, Mason Alhambra fragrances. Usually here in Europe, this thing costs around about the 40, 45 euro mark. Uh, but sometimes you can get it off, uh, you know, what some, you know, discounters are running uh, sales. And that's what I yeah. did. Uh, slightly over 20 euros uh, to get uh, crafted tooth from Mason Alhambra. At that price point, uh, you know, the quality of uh, the presentation and the quality of the scent that you get, I think it's an absolute steal. When it comes to versatility, this fragrance is not very versatile. It's definitely a cold weather scent and definitely more orientated towards nighttime music. In reality, uh, Crafted Wood is pretty limited when it comes to versatility, but that's down to the actual scent profile of this fragrance. And so on to my final thoughts about the Crafted Wood from Mason Alhambra. As I said in the opening of this video, this fragrance uh, has quickly become one of uh, my most favorite uh, Mason Alhambra scents. And in fact, uh, at the current time, I think it's tied for the first place uh, alongside the uh, Jean Loe Ombre, again from Mason Alhambra. Uh, this thing uh, has a very dark, uh, very spicy, um, slightly green, slightly sweet scent profile, very niche type of scent, uh, it's very masculine, very sexy, and I absolutely love it. Uh, for some reason it reminds me a little bit of Gucci's Intense Oud, although it doesn't uh, smell uh, similar to that one at all, but still the vibe that it gives me is uh, pretty much uh, similar to what I get from uh, Intense Oud from Gucci, and that's another fragrance that I absolutely love. This thing has nice quality when it comes, very nice quality when it comes to the scent profile, comes very nicely packaged, uh, and when you can uh, sort of un, uh, find a good deal on it uh, like I did, uh, you can end up buying a fantastic fragrance for something like 20 25 euro euros which i think is an absolute steal at that price point so if you like woody uh, slightly sweet spicy uh, slightly green uh, dark masculine scents definitely check out crafted wood from mason alhambra this thing gets a love from me and so guys in today's video i showed you a very very nice offering from the house of mason alhambra called the Feroz collection crafted wood i hope that you found this video interesting or helpful if you did give it a like and i also hope that you're going to join me in my next video and until then, stay safe and bye-bye.